For NYUP and Syracuse.com, this is Matt Perino, joined as always by Ryan Talbot. We are previewing all of the top prospects in this year's NFL draft, the ones that we really feel like the Bills are going to be able to target in on. Uh, sitting at the number nine spot, you probably figure that guys like Nick Bosa, Quinnen Williams, and Josh Allen are probably off the board, but who knows? Anything can happen. But next up, we're going to focus in on Michigan edge rusher Rashawn Gary. A very, very intriguing prospect. I know we've said that about a, a couple of these guys, but you know, when, when you look at a scouting report and the first thing that appears is freak athlete or you know superior athleticism, you know, it, it piques your interest. And it, it, it's a guy that you know in Rashawn Gary that didn't necessarily produce at a high uh, at a high clip at Michigan, but a guy that has all the intangibles that, in the right circumstance, could be very successful. Um, what, what, what's your thoughts on, on Rashawn Gary, Ryan? Yeah, you know, the first note I wrote down about him is should be better pro than prospect. And I think that comes just down to the coaching that he's going to receive here in the NFL. Uh, he was a disruptor at Michigan. Uh, the stats don't necessarily show that, you know, at over three seasons, uh, 119 total tackles, 9.5 sacks, and 23 tackles for loss. Uh, that doesn't really jump off the page, so to speak, but he, you saw the flashes. You saw him at the combine, like you said, freakish athleticism. Uh, here's the guy who's almost 288 pounds, and he ran something like a four five seven four five eight forty yard dash. Uh, people that you know it, at that size, you're not supposed to be able to run that fast, and yet he did. So I, I think with the proper coaching, this is a guy that could be an impact player on Sundays. Uh, I think that, you know, in this scenario at, you know, at number nine, and there's a lot of mock drafts that this guy's going in the top 10, and there's a lot of scouts that are saying that he's not going to make it out of the top 10. But, you know, if you're Brandon Bean and with the needs still on this team, and I know he's been adamant about drafting for need, but I think you have to really, you know, take a look at your roster, figure out where you are as a franchise if you want to compete this year. And adding a guy like Rashawn Gary, who may be a bit of a project, may need a, a ton of coaching. And, you know, you even saw, a, you know, a similar example of, of a Shaq Lawson who really shined at the college level and took three years before he really showed that he could do it at this level. And even still only ended up with four sacks last year. I think it was three and a half for Rashawn Gary. Now, from an athleticism perspective, we're talking about a completely different caliber athlete in Gary compared to Lawson. But I think the comparison holds because if you think you're close and you want to compete in the AFC East, I think you have to go out there and get a guy that's going to be a day one impact player in the top 10. And I'm not necessarily sold that Rashawn Gary could be that. I do agree. I think he's going to be a way better pro than he was a college player. But the key question is, how long is it going to take? Yeah, and that's fair. And how long is it going to take also because of his versatility? Because here's a guy that you could play all across your defensive line. You could play him at end. You can play him at either defensive tackle spot. So, you know, if that's something you want to do, you're going to put a lot on this guy's plate. Uh, from his rookie year on and saying, listen, we want you to learn both positions because we think we can use you as an end on some plays. We think we can have you come in uh, on maybe obvious pass rush situations or obvious situations where we can put you in a defensive tackle and get some pressure up the middle. So the versatility is what screams to me as to why he could be a possibility for the Bills at nine. But you're, you're going to put a lot on his plate if you do end up drafting him in that high because of, of the ability to play in multiple spots. And like you said, are you going to get an impact out of a guy that you're going to be asking so much of uh, as a rookie? For sure. I mean, it's going to be exciting to see what happens in this draft, Ryan. So many possibilities. Do, do the Bills stay at 9? Take BPA. Do they move up? Go after a, a Quinn and Williams, a Josh Allen. Do they move down? Try to add a, a, a number of potential picks in that first 60 it's going to be so interesting to see guys for all your bills content all week long and all season long keep it locked on the ny up and syracuse.com